Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to talk to you about ROCD or Relationship Obsessive Compulsive Disorder. I'm speaking from my own experience here and a lot of other women that I know that are currently and have currently experienced ROCD and I'm here to talk a little bit more about it because media and um, society doesn't really talk about ROCD and that's a big reason as to why we experience it because we think that it is abnormal. So ROCD is where someone experiences very disturbing, unwanted, obsessive, intrusive thoughts about their partner and specifically how they feel about their partner. So you personally or someone you know may be experiencing thoughts such as, am I with the right partner? Is he the one? Are we in a healthy relationship? Um, is he attractive enough? Is my sex life good? What if I don't really love my partner? What if I'm not really in love with my partner? What if I'm lying to my partner? What if I don't really find my partner attractive? Or what if I'm not fully attracted to my partner? What if I don't want to have sex with my partner? If I don't miss my partner, if I don't think about them, then do I really love or want to be with my partner? I find other people attractive. Does that mean I'm in the wrong relationship? Does that mean I shouldn't be with my partner? There are times when I don't even want to be hanging out with my partner and I want to be alone. Does that mean that I shouldn't be with my partner as well? And so many other thoughts and obsessions that can just rule your world. And these are typical, normal questions to ask. The difference with ROCD is that a person will obsessively check, consciously and subconsciously, how they feel and if the thoughts are occurring about their partner. It makes your life harder and it makes being with your partner extremely distressful. Relationship obsessive compulsive disorder tends to happen in very healthy, safe, and secure relationships where the partner is very faithful, very loving, very trustworthy, and it's just absolutely amazing. Um, that doesn't mean that they don't have flaws. Everyone does have something or things, of course. Um, but typically they will happen in very healthy relationships. A lot of people who experience it are OCD are just terrified, ashamed, and feel so guilty about how they feel about their thoughts um, or about their obsessions. A lot of people feel that they cannot speak or reach out to another individual or anyone else because they are just feeling so guilty for how they feel. Um, some people will have obsessions about being afraid about speaking to their partner about our OCD. Um, it's a very difficult topic to talk to therapists about too because a lot of therapists do not really know or understand our OCD. So it is a um, fixation that many people don't talk about and that's why a lot of people feel that there's something wrong with them because it's not something that is typically commonly expressed. And if you feel so inclined or called to, leave a comment down below and let me know what thoughts you may be experiencing or what obsessions you may be experiencing. And if you haven't already, feel free to go to my webpage, awakenintolove.com, if you're not there already, and download the three 10 frequently asked questions and answers about relationship, anxiety, and doubt.